All right, so just now we found out that those three special properties we talked about form um, the conditions to be a fundamental solution set. That's just a special word we have for a group of functions where if you write them in the special combination form, you've created a general solution to a um, homogeneous nth order differential equation. And then there's just going to be one extra part. Remember, we broke up what we were thinking about to this only homogeneous case. So in the more general non-homogeneous case that is indicated by that weird flower shape, there's only one extra thing that we need. Um, so to form a general solution to um, non-homogeneous differential equation given by that thing. We just need one extra thing. And that's just some function y sub p that satisfies the full ODE star. So just any single function that when you plug it into this non-homogeneous equation right here, everything works out and you get the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. If you have that and you have the fundamental solution set for the homogeneous equation, then the general solution is y equal to y sub p plus the general solution from the homogeneous problem. C1, oops, Y1, C2, Y2, all the way down through Cn, Yn. And that's how we're going to put together solutions um, in pretty much this whole section. We'll learn a bunch of different methods that tell us these Y1 through Yn, or that tell us that special function y sub p. And then once you do that, you just put them all together in a linear combination and you say that you found the um, general solution. Importantly, just remember that y sub p in this general solution formula doesn't have a coefficient like all your y1 through yn did. Um, if you add a coefficient there, you won't have enough conditions to get rid of all your coefficients and it becomes a mess. And you'll get to see that like in practice as we actually solve differential equations. Um, so real quick, um, I want to give you some vocabulary for what we've actually done here. So the thing that makes these general solutions work is a principle called superposition. And um, basically, superposition is going to mean that this first idea right here, um, if you have functions that satisfy an ODE, adding them together is still a solution. So the idea that linear combinations or multiplying by constants and then adding together, if you do that to solutions of ODEs, the thing you get afterwards is still a solution to an ODE. And then one special type of superposition
is that you can use superposition to build particular solutions to non-homogeneous differential equations. Um, particular solutions. So sort of if you have um, a differential equation, a sub n of x, and the derivative of y down through a0 of x times y equal to some combination of g's instead of like one single g of x you can imagine that you could break it up then actually i'm not going to rewrite that whole thing So if that's your differential equation, but you keep the equation the same, except for you look at your g separately, if you could find particular solutions for each of those individual equations, then the linear combination y sub p of x equal to y sub p1 of x plus y sub p2 of x all the way down through y sub p k of x. Actually, had a k right there. Is the particular solution for the full ODE. Um, so what I'm saying here is that this would have solution y sub 1 of x, solution, oh, sorry, y sub p1 of x, y sub p2 of x, down through solution y sub pk of x. And that's just something that can sort of help you break up a really messy problem into smaller, more manageable parts. And then let's see last bit of vocabulary and this one I would say is the least important thing because it um, will sort of only come up once and I'm going to explain it to you again then because it's a concept that tends to be confusing um, but we're also going to talk about the idea of differential operators. So we're going to denote D as the operation of taking a derivative. So for example, dy dx, you could write as dx, um, d2y, dx2 would be d squared x, well, it would be d of d of y, I'm just changing notation all over the place. And you could continue up to nth order derivatives, capital D to the ny. So just um, basically you could represent dy dx by capital dy, repeat the pattern 
for any number of derivatives you want. And then you can sort of combine them all together as well. Um, so the nth order differential operator would give you, um, we're going to call it L, a n of x d to the n plus a sub n minus 1 of x d to the n minus 1. Continue on down to a1 of x times d plus a0 of x um, times nothing. And it can be used to represent our nth order differential equations in shortened form. So our um, homogeneous equation would just be L times Y equal to zero, or our non-homogeneous equation would be L times Y equal to G of X.